Mayor Dan Colvin again. I um, hope you're not getting sick of seeing me. Um, it's Tuesday morning, a little rainy outside, but it sounds like the rest of the week's going to be nice and we'll get some sunshine and get outside again. Which, of course, going outside, being around everybody, uh, we need to practice our social distancing, which includes just being around your immediate family. Remember, we're doing this not only for our own health, but for the safety of our neighbors, our friends, and our loved ones. Um, so as we move along this path, we have to remember that we're still on a safer at home order from the governor till May 26th. But along those paths, the city is working with uh, Pierce and St. Croix County Health uh, officers to kind of move us in direction. How are we going to get to the point where we can start trying to get back to some way of normalcy and what's the path to get in there and how we're going to do it? Uh, we're going to, we're going to, implement a phase process kind of along what the federal and state government wants to do but kind of along at our own pace um, of course to meet these different phases and move up with getting things open there's different criteria we have to meet you know either regionally or statewide uh, we'll have to make sure that the cases are going down for a certain amount of days or weeks um, we'll have to make sure there's, uh, we'll be able to do the contact tracing. One of the other things we have to make sure there's plenty of PPE uh, and hospital beds for any patients that might have or any flare-ups we might have. But as we move forward and this stuff, we start meeting these criteria, we'll have a plan in place to be able to do that. So people need to be patient. We're working there. We're working on this plan. Hopefully we'll be able to roll this plan out uh, maybe by the end of this week, beginning of next week. So people have a, a better idea of what we're looking at and how that'll work. We're back to a city council meeting tonight. Um, it'll be on our YouTube channel. And if anybody wants to attend or watch, uh, you go to our website at rfcity.org and get all the instructions for how you can watch it. And if you have something to say or questions to ask, how you can join the meeting moving forward. Of course, it, it, wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be an update for me if I didn't talk about another election. Uh, May 12th, uh, if you live in River Falls and you live in Sacred County, there will be another election on May 12th for a congressional seat. There again, I highly recommend everybody please go to the River Falls website and there's a link to the, the site to get your absentee ballot at myvote.wi.gov. It's the safest way to do it and the best way to do it is, be, is to um, get the absentee ballot and vote that way. So I encourage everybody to please do that. Part of some of the processes of reopening is uh, the library will be reopening just for curbside pickup and that's by appointment only. So call them or go to their website and they'll be able to help you with that. But that'll start this week, which will help a lot of people. So we're looking forward to that. And as we go along, we all know that the COVID-19, all the different uh, symptoms and news about it is changing daily, weekly, sometimes hourly. You know, along, and now this past weekend, the, the CDC has come out with some new symptoms along with the, 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 what they've been telling us about the dry cough and the shortness of breath and the fever. Now they're saying there's chills, there's repeated shaking with chills, there's muscle pain, there's headache, there's sore throat, and there's new loss of taste and smell. So if you have any of these symptoms or you're worried that you might have these symptoms, you know, please watch it closely and please don't hesitate to get a hold of your health officials or check the CDC website um, for any help with all this stuff. So for right now, that's about it. City's still carrying on, still trying to do whatever we possibly can. Um, I hope you all are safe. Continue to practice our safer at home as we move along. And until next time, take care and be healthy.